What's up guys, today we are going to be cleaning out my Argentine Boa's tank. Um, she lives right over here. We're doing some maintenance and we're moving soon, so everything is all out of whack. But she's hanging out back there, so let's jump right into it. One thing I will say about keeping snakes, the most valuable tool to have is a snake hook, in my opinion. Um, she is super calm. That being said, it's still very, very important to always use a hook to get them out so they don't think they're being fed. That's just to avoid bites and stuff like that. This girl is amazing and extremely docile and she normally likes to check things out before biting, but I would rather not get bit. So I like to just use a snake hook to be safe. Doing this with one hand is a little bit more difficult than with two, but I'm just slowly and gently pulling her out and then we're gonna grab her and now she's good okay now we just gotta get her fully out she's wrapped up around that I'm just gonna let her undo herself she's making this way more difficult than it has to be okay we're good so here she is like I said once she's out she is super calm amazing snake she's my favorite snake that I have absolutely beautiful and incredible species um, they actually are known for being a little bit bitey at times but this girl is an absolute dream so we are going to put her away in this bin she's hanging out right here um, this is much more difficult with one hand uh, because obviously I have to do all this stuff but she's gonna go in here while we clean just so she stays safe and feels secure and doesn't get away or get under anything I can't get her back from. So we're gonna do that and I will be right back. Alright so Missy Luna is away now hanging out in her bin. Like I said we are moving soon to a much bigger house so all these snakes and all these cages are gonna have huge upgrades. She's in like a three by one and a half right now. She's going into a six by two when we move so over double the square footage for her which I'm super, super excited about. Um, I don't know if you can hear Derp, he's hissing at me. In the background here, my little caiman hanging out right there. But yeah, all these animals are gonna get huge upgrades and possibly eventually live outside, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm gonna start doing that as soon as we move down. I currently live in Pennsylvania um, and I'm moving down to Florida. So obviously much better climate for reptiles, especially if you want them to live outdoors. Um, Florida is one of the only places in the US where you can really have reptiles outside and even then a lot of Florida gets too cold. So we're moving to South Florida though. So 99% of the days they can stay out, you know, year round, day and night, which is absolutely amazing. Um, but for those off days where it's a little cold, I'll be bringing them inside and I'll have like smaller cages, you know, kind of little holding containers set up. She's gonna hang out in here while I do this. Um, so I am going to get my scooper. I just use this and then I just kind of shovel the, the stuff out and I'm gonna do that, throw all that substrate away and then fill it back up with this. I pre-make this, this is just cocoa chips. Um, you can see I made it recently. It has this wet stuff in it. Uh, that's good. It's really good for holding humidity and it also is really odor absorbent, which I love. It's also cheap. So you can get a lot for not a lot of money. And when you have 10 reptiles like me, that is a big plus. So I'm going to scoop all this out, throw it away, and then we'll be back with some clean substrate for my favorite snake. All right, so all of it's scooped out now, nice and clean. We're going to take this clean new substrate fill this up and then just go straight in like that a couple times the old stuff sometimes can get a little bit dusty if you let it dry too much so I do recommend keeping it relatively moist it is good in my opinion too to um, kind of find a sweet spot of how you like to break this down because this comes in dried blocks so if you use too much water it'll never dry but if you don't use enough it won't hold any humidity and it also will stick together and it'll never break up into these little chunks when it's in these little chunks it's easy to spot clean um, 
you can just take out the, the pieces that are have some poop on them or pee on them or you know whatever. Uh, I'm going to do one more scoop here just to give her a little bit of depth. I like to not go too deep. I'll show you guys an example real quick of a snake that I go deeper for. So here's my Eastern Indigo. I just cleaned this today, like 20 minutes ago. He's hanging out um, right here. You can see him, Mr. Merlin. But with him, I normally like to go deeper because he loves to go under the substrate. My Argentine Bella doesn't really go under, so there's no reason to keep it deep. Um, but this guy also is going to get a humongous upgrade when we move here shortly, so that's going to be awesome. Those cages are more permanent as well, so I'm going to kind of deck them out and make them super pretty. Um, probably going to get those really nice backgrounds for those cages, which is going to be really fun. I have all the decor down here. So two hides, one on the warm side, one on the cool side, and then some uh, branches kind of just randomly throughout here so she can climb on stuff and you know feel like she's in the wild. Um, one thing with Argentine boas, they are a terrestrial species, especially when they get older, but as juveniles they will climb so it is nice to give her some sticks and then I kind of just throw these leaves in. These are just like reptile terrarium leaves. I just kind of toss those in just to give a little bit of more natural feel. My caiman's behind me growling at me because he wants me to feed him. Say hi, bud. Say hi, dude. You mad? Sorry, bro. So that is the cage. Let's go get Luna, put her back, and she'll be ready to go. Luna, she's ready to go back into her cage now. It's all cleaned up. She's holding on to this. So I need to get her to stop. Okay, we're good. We'll walk her back over. Her cage is nice and clean. Look at that. You ready to go home, hon? There you go. She's ready. So that's awesome. She's good to go. Come on. Like I said, she's going to be getting a huge upgrade once we move. I'm super excited about that. She is my favorite snake. Um, excited to upgrade all of my animals when we move. It's going to be awesome. Including you, Mr. Derp. He keeps talking. What's up, bud? But yeah, that's about it for this, guys. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment if you want to see any sort of certain topics, or um, I can't focus. He's like growling at me this whole time. But if you want to see any certain videos, anything specific, make sure to let me know. I will do my best to make those. And I'm going to try to continue making more consistent videos, kind of just like day in the life videos with me just doing what I have to do for the reptiles, just so you guys can kind of get an inside view on that. Um, a lot of stuff coming. Here is Mr. Grindle in his water, or Mrs. Grindle possibly, we think. Um, like I said, all these guys, huge upgrades coming, gonna be awesome, building giant outdoor enclosures in Florida, that sort of thing. So I am super excited. Make sure you guys stick around, and I will see you in the next one. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.